Hi, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. So I have a little tutorial to show you today on how to make this little doily purse for a junk journal. And this is a design team project for Junk That Treasures. She sells these adorable oval um, doilies, paper doilies. And I'm making a pink shabby chic journal right now. Well, by the time this goes up, because this will probably go up sometime around Christmas, uh, break because I'm trying to make more videos ahead of time so that I can keep uploading throughout um, the time my husband's off of work and we're going to be traveling and or doing other family things. So you'll have already seen this in a journal, but now I'm showing you how um, I'm making it. So I'm just first going to just show you here and then you can actually put things inside. And if you've seen the flip through of the journal there, you see there's monopoly money, a little, um, business card and uh, some little a picture of her kids or some little kids. And um, so it's absolutely adorable, like a little clutch purse. So here's how I did it. It's pretty simple, actually. So I took the doily and then I folded not in half. If you can see that just, I don't know, three quarters of the way up. And then I folded this back on itself there. Then I stitched, as you can see here, okay? I stitched right here. Well, before I did that, sorry, I stitched um, this down. So I'm actually going to go do that and come back so you can see exactly what I mean. Okay, so you can see I stitched that folded part down. I'm sure that you could use glue. I like the stitched look for a purse since purses usually have stitching, but if you don't have a sewing machine, you can definitely try it with glue. Then after I, I did that, we're going to stitch here and here to close the purse off. Okay, so I stitched here and I stitched here to close it off. And then you're just going to fold the top down to be the flap of the purse. So now the purse is basically made. You can tuck little things in there. And um, what I did next was chose a color ink. For this one, it was pink, but I'm gonna do kind of a, a Christmas. I'm gonna, probably gonna put this in one of my Christmas journals that I'm making. So I have red ink here. And this these white doilies, they highlight very well. And so I just very lightly brush some ink all around the edges to just give it a really pretty highlight all the way around. And you could um, definitely ink it up more if you wanted to. I'm just keeping it really subtle. Okay. And then we're going to attach the string or the shoulder strap. So I have my crocodile. And I don't measure this, I just eyeball it, but I'm going to punch one of the 1 8 inch holes. Sorry, I'm out of frame there. And here. Okay. And then I have two little mini eyelets, which I've already lost, so I'm probably going to have to grab two more. Those little boogers, I tell you what, they just disappear everywhere. Okay, so I went to grab two more. And I'm just going to use my crocodile to set these in. I don't have a better alternative than this because the doily is so fragile that um, I would be afraid to do anything but put eyelets in it. But you could try. And if you don't have a crocodile, my suggestion is to go to Hobby Lobby when all of their punches are 40% off. That's when I got mine. They considered it a punch. So hopefully your store will too. Okay, so then we have our little um, eyelets, and I'm going to use this red and white baker's twine since I'm going to be putting this in a Christmas journal that I'm starting. So I, it really doesn't matter how much you, you know, you take. It's up, totally up to you. Okay, and then string it. Well, there's different ways you could do this. With the lace, it didn't string as well, so I used a little bit of hot glue to hold it in place. But I think this will probably string a little better, except that the baker's twine doesn't want to go all the way through. You could also use a big um, needle to thread it and then put it through. Or just when it gets frayed, just trim the end off before you put it back through here. 
then you can tie it off. I didn't, I'll show you how I did it differently with the lace. And I'm going out of frame again, guys. Sorry. I'm concentrating. So I'm just going to tie it off here. And then when you pull it through, I'm just going to trim it down a little bit here. These are the dullest scissors. They are not my craft scissors. I just grabbed them. Now I can't cut. <laughs> All right, there we go. And... I mean, how cute is that? To finish it off, I have a little red gem. One of those just rhinestones that are adhesive. And I'm going to put it right there for the closure on the purse. And I'm going to put this in my Christmas journal. Are we even focused? Doesn't look like it. Here we go. Okay. So if you can see it. How cute is that? And so I'm gonna show you here with the pink one, when I used the lace, when I put it through, I added the Gorilla Hot Glue to this side and that side to hold it, and then I didn't have to um, pull all the way through and tie it since this is pretty thick. So I hope that was a tutorial that you enjoyed. You can get these doilies at Junk That Treasures. I think she still will still have them in stock. If they are sold out, send her a message and let her know that you would like some of these and um, maybe she'll do her best to find some or put them back in stock. I'm sure that you can get them other places. I wouldn't know since um, the only place I've gotten them is Junk That Treasures. So check out Junk That Treasures on Etsy and I hope you enjoy these cute little purse doilies.